Oh, hi there, friends. Welcome back to another episode of How to Make a Short Story in Scratch Jr. with me, Sammy the Robot. Yay! Today, we're going to learn how to make our characters move and dance. Are y'all ready? I can't hear you. Are y'all ready? <laughs> okay, guys. So, today, we're going to learn how to make our characters move using blue motion blocks. And we will also learn how to use yellow trigger blocks. Yay! Okay, guys, so when you open up Scratch Jr., you're gonna see the screen and you're gonna press the home button. And then I've got a bunch of projects here because I've been practicing, but the project that we've been working on has a flower in it. And the reason why I know is because I taught you guys how to draw a flower last week. And, um, yeah, that's why I know. And so I'm gonna click on that project. Boop! Ah, yes, this project. Oh, if some of you guys are watching and you're thinking, Sammy, you didn't teach me how to draw a character or a flower. Oh, no! It must mean you missed the, uh, the video from week one. So... You should check out that video. You can ask your parents or teachers to help you find it. The link is in the description under this video. Okay, well today, we're gonna make a dance party. Yay! So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make cat move and so to make cat move what the first thing you have to do is make sure that cat is highlighted like this in orange not flower cat so when you highlight cat you'll also see it in this white screen here and so after you have chosen cat you see all these blocks down here well, today, we're just gonna use the yellow and blue blocks. And the first blocks that we're gonna use are the blue blocks. And the blue blocks are called motion blocks because they help the characters move. So if you click on these blocks, as you can see, you can tell what these blocks do. So, for example, how would we get cat to move right once, left once, and then how about, hmm, up, move up once, and move down once. Huh, okay, well, move right. Let's see. Oh, it? This, oh yeah, it's this one. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this. And I'm gonna bring it over to this white space right here. Not in here in the picture, but right here. I'm gonna drop it. And let's see what happens if I click on it after I dropped it right here. I'm gonna click it really fast. Boop! Oh! Did you see that? Cat was moving. I'll press it one more time. Oh, it moved again. It's moving again. Oh no, no, it's stuck behind flower. Hmm, Sammy, how do we bring the character back to where it was? No fear, guys. Okay, you're gonna click on this button right up top. Boop. And there you have it. Cat goes back to where Cat was before. <laughs> okay, well, we were gonna make Cat move once to the right, and then once to the left, and then once up, and once down. So, okay, this is the right. 
Okay, how would we move cat left? Hmm. Which one is it? Is it this one? No, is it this one? No, is it this one? No. Is it this one? Oh, it is. Move left. Okay, let me click on it. Boop. Oh, it moved left. Oh, one more time. I'm gonna click it again. Boop. Oh my. That is definitely the left button. Okay, let's bring Cat back. Cat, come back home. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we want cat to move once right and once left. So I guess I could click on the right and then the left. Right? And left. Oh, that is so fun, isn't it? Right? Left? Right? Left? Right? Left? But Sammy, my fingers are getting tired. Oh, me too. Hmm, is there another way? Hmm... Hey, what would happen if we connected these blocks? Oh, oh, they stick together. Okay, let's try to press them now. Whoa, I just pressed that once. And cat is moving right and left. Right and left. Whoa. Okay, well, okay, right once and left once. Now, how do we bring the cat to move up once? Hmm, would it be this one? No, this one? No, hop? Hmm, no, this, oh, move up. Oh, okay, let me see. I'm gonna take that. And going to bring it. Boop. What's gonna happen now? What do you guys think? Let's see. Boop. Oh, can move to the right, left, and up. Let's try again. Oh, left, right, left, up, right, left, up, right, left, up, right, left, up. <laughs> That's quite a tongue twister. Right, left, up. Right, left, up. Ah, cat's gonna disappear. Okay, let's bring cat back. Okay, that is good. Okay, but then how do we bring... Mm, so we wanted Vlad to move once to the right, once to the left, and then once up, and then once down. Hmm. Okay, well, this is the down button. What if we put that here? Let's see. Whoa! Right, left. Right, left, up, down. Right, left, up, down. I'm gonna click it again. Right, left, up, down. Right, left, up, down. Wow! We did it, guys! Woo, 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 woo! <laughs> that is so awesome! If you click it too fast, then it might not work properly. Like, ah! That's because the computer is getting confused. So if you want it to work properly, what you have to do is, okay, let's bring Cat back. Come back home. Okay. And then you click it once. And then you have to wait. You have to wait until all the blocks have changed color. And then you can click it again. <laughs> if you keep clicking it, ah, the computer thinks that you just want the first block, and so it won't, it won't actually trigger the other blocks. Oh, until you let go. So if you wanted to do exactly what this says, just click it once and wait. Just be patient, just a little bit. Okay, guys.